box is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time talking about my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the love and support uh you've been giving me um and I'm hoping you're taking time out for yourself to get self-care, you know, meditation, getting out in nature, you know, seeing the things that the world is trying to show us. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about you know the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up to tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with the loved one family your friend or even a felt empath they're going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation toward their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at give me a thumbs up like and also share in your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video i'm sorry y'all my, my cat came in here to uh get some attention and you know how it is if you have any fur babies you know especially with cats they they seem busy and they want to go ahead and jump in the mix so they can be center of attention but anyways um my uh my meditation music that i'm doing is called uh native spirit flute uh sleep lower uh flute tones deep sleep music soothing native uh native music and i'll post that link in the description box below um and my video is about let me see what i got on my content book is when it's time to grieve the loss of what we imagine life to be embrace what it truly is that's truly it is true you know a lot of times we think we have life figured out how we're gonna uh how our lives are planned it you know this and this and that and the third um and then next thing you know the spiritual awakening comes through and it has us uh really stuck in confusion you know trying to understand you know what is going on with my life am i going crazy am i going to a mental breakdown all these different things that has been occurring and it allows us to really see things for what they truly are you know we have to take that grieving moment to be with ourselves and know why we are going through the things we go through there's many a times i try to understand why is my life what it is why does my life have to be so complex why does it have to be so hard and going through these things um and you know but why is it being the way it is so it's just like everything happens for a reason you know, we go through these hard times to be able to whatever that weakness is in where we don't have that that you know the courage to be able to speak out for ourselves or we don't have that uh faith within ourselves to be able to know that better days are going to be applied to our lives you know if we just give it you know we just give it to be able to see things what they truly are um is why we have to go through these things and, you know it's just like as soon as you can be able to set that in your mind and know that you know hey yeah, my life is complicated. It might be hellish at this time, but you know, it's really gonna bring me to a you know a positive platform. And you know, I go through these times all the time. You know, and it's just like more and more I might have my days. You know, if anybody's really close to me, they know I have my moments. And you know, I try to stay strong, but you know, when you're running on strength and strength enough alone, it can sometimes feel like you're running on fumes. And that's when I have to take time for myself, and you know, being able to you know take care of myself for you know for what it truly is and being able to do that you know and really sitting back you know because i go through times you know times of sorrow as myself you know still trying to heal from my dad's passing and you know dealing with that and trying to understand why you know nobody's being held at fault for different things like that so many you know things go through my head and i'm going through and uh not really having family to go to because I done exited them all out my life or, you know, they did things to me to make me walk away. But it's just like when I see right where I'm at that moment, being able to stay blessed, you know, just being on oh, blessed beyond measures. And just the fact is, you know, uh, when I first started this situation and I started really getting clear on the what the universe was trying to tell me, like, we put you here. We gave you this duty 
Nikki, because we do. I'm like, what? You put, I can't work good under pressure. What you do? <laughs> so it's just like being able to go through that and know you got me doing what now. You know, being able to help guide people towards their way, being able to put labels on the things that we go through at times. And, you know, knowing that you're not the only one going through that is like a blessing on so many different levels. Uh, being able to start a community where, you know, you, you challenge me, you ask me different questions because, you, you know, there's things that you want to know or, you know, things that we all feel. And it, it's a good thing when people are like, yes, Rosalind, I, I didn't know what was going on because we go through so many different things. And it was like, what is today? Um, I know it's like the Taurus, the moon of Taurus today. And I think tomorrow is Gemini. So we're just all going through these different things and really seeing them for what they are. And um, being blessed about it, you know, it, it's just all how you look at things. You know, a lot of times when we come into our gifts and being acknowledged because they've been, you know, laying dormant for so long, you know, it's like people that I hold dear to my heart. I hold all y'all dear to my heart. But it's like the people that I go on one-on-one -on -one, uh, situations with, um, it, it's just like I see the potential in them. You know, a lot of times I see a lot of the gifts that they have. You know, a lot of people tell me, you know, Rosalind, others weren't able to see me, but yet you see me clearly. I said that was my gift. You know, a lot of times I have to be that one that has that special sight of being able to see things and see people for what they truly are and give them that, you know, you just need that person to just give you that friendly reminder of letting you know who you are and, you know, being blessed just to be you, even though you might feel like you're not blessed because of what life is and um that can really be a hard hard pill to swallow at times because you know my dad used to always tell me how lucky I was and I'm like how the heck am I lucky going through all the stuff that I went through but then being able to see you know what gift I have you know being able to set kind words out for, out for others that truly need to hear that being able to remind you you know even though we're going through worse times the best is already on, on its way you know, things that we don't even, might not even be able to comprehend that's coming towards our life. You know, if we keep thriving and keep working forward towards those things, you know, you have to be able to grieve that old life, you know, because it's like everything has just been snatched up and they, it's like they slapped the mess out of you and you, you're you starting to see things in a different way. Like, gosh, you saw that truth in my face and this is how everything is. Yeah, it's always been that way. But we had to be blind to it for a while and being able to go through hardship, being able to go through failures, abuse, all these different things that has really traumatized our life in some kind of crazy way. And then being able to know, you know, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to endure this? Because you were stronger than, you know, you were that soldier that was stronger beyond all measures because it was like when you were in the spirit world, you weren't that, that force to be reckoned with and you still are. But a lot of times they hide us in plain sight for us to be able to go through all these different situations and endure so many different pains and then you you look at life a lot different you know you experience things a lot different you know it makes you and it's scary that how we put barriers on ourselves we allow limitations to keep us you know at a low frequency which we should never do you know this is that time where like I said before and you even know we're we're breaking all these these boundaries. We're we're pushing the envelope to be able to know we're you know we're cutting uh, karmatic cycles and generational curses out the way. So when the next generation comes, they don't have to deal with all this pain. You know we got and I really think that's what is supposed to be coming because it's going to give us all that energy and all that power to be able to know when the next generation comes, they don't have to go through the sorrow we went through. They don't have to go through the pain that we have endured for so many years, you know, life, you know, they're going to have to go through their stages of life, but it won't be as dreadful as the things that we have experienced in life, because it's like what we went through is going to be the thing that's going to allow us to push barriers, you know, and, you know, a lot of people might think, oh my God, the rapture is coming, oh, this and this and that. I know something big is coming, but as I feel, it's like we're starting that evolutionary um, impact that, you know, it's been laying dormant for so long. It sounds like a science fiction horror movie that's coming out. It's like they've been laying dormant for so long and then it took that special energy just to 
wake it up, you know, and all these different things go about. But it's just like we really have to see things for what they truly are. Know that you have the potential to rise above anything. You know, at times it does seem hard. We get tired of dealing with the BS that we have to endure every day. But when you can wake up and really truly see that I'd be damned if I allow these things to get to me. Because I'm the type of person, I'm a sore loser anyway, especially if I know you don't like me and that's what you're looking for. You need to fail, you can keep on hoping. It's like poop coming in one hand and all my blessings coming in the other. No, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. You know, I go through my different times. I take my little pit breaks and stuff like that so I can be able to recharge. So I can go ahead. Oh my goodness, and I'll see. Oh, that ringing one in my ear and that right ear like really bad. As soon as I started talking, as soon as I said that, that was kind of crazy. But um, being able to do all those different things in our life is, is truly a blessing. You know, we go through these dark times and we feel like we can't go anymore. You're tired. You know, it, this situation has broke you down. Yeah, take that rest, but you're not finished yet. You have to really tell yourself you're not done. You know, there's so many times I've went knocking on death's door. I can't even remember how many times I, I don't know, died and came back. And, you know, there's times I've orchestrated my death, but also came back, you know, feeling like God doesn't want me. And it's not the fact that he didn't want me. He's just not ready for me to come. He's like, I'm going to come on. You're going to come on my terms, not on yours. I'm like, well, excuse me then. You know, I'm not done with you yet. You know, um, knowing that, you know, my family, they knew that what my family was doing was trying to be able to establish my dad's estate and all that stuff so he wouldn't allow me to pass away because you know that would have allowed them to win that and he's like no they're not going to do that you know my family had paperwork to allow me to go home and you know um people certain people know about me but i'm not going to mention any names that you know they they could have helped me get home to be able to help salvage whatever my, my father had left because he left everything to me you know, but it was just like all those different things I had to be able to endure to be able to know, you know, this situation is not going to be easy. We're not going to allow it to be easy because there's so many lessons that you had to learn through these trials and tribulations, through the hurt and pain, you know, being able to see things. I, I think I was going to be able to make it after I seen the picture of my dad being dead in front of his elevator. That was one thing I wish I could unsee. You know, that was really something that was really messed up for me to have to endure. But, you know, it, it's just like certain things happen for a reason. And it, 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 it applies a lot of tests that you have to go through. And you have to, and I tell people, you have to put on all the armor of God dealing with stuff because you think this day will be hard. There will be plenty of other days because you're going to be constantly tested, constantly tested. Because God already knows you're going to pass it. Love prevails on it over anything. You know, even the, you know, even though him and the devil are going through little war games right now. We're going to win regardless. It's just that we had to go through all that hell just to be able to prove we were right. You know, because there's a lot of times the devil was like, oh, they're going to give up. Look how much stuff I placed in their life. They're not going to even, they're not, they ain't going to even go towards that prize that they've been working for because I don't put so many things on there. And God put a wager on that. Okay, you put them through that. And I guarantee you my people is going to win. You know, all these different things we're enduring in life. You have to be able to grieve the process that you're not that old person anymore. You know, you have to, you know, grieve the, the process of what life really truly is, being able to embrace your dark side as well as your light side, being able to accept your gifts that has been placed upon you to know that that you're going to have all those gifts are going to come into play one day. And you'll know the reason why you had to go through that. And you're going to be glad that you never gave up on yourself because it's just, you know, darkness sits there you know people pray upon us you know on our downfall but you you have to know that you have that strength to be able to get get through it and see things for what they truly are be able to let that old self go so you can give your new self that chance so you know i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video um like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know if you resonate if you feel this or is this a sign that you needed to hear because if this is a sign that you needed to hear this is it <laughs> so uh i will give a post notification shout out to donella danny pia p rita much love to you i hope all is well if you're watching this video 
uh, and Malachi Smith. Um, just like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, um, share, and you know, tell people about the channel that are really truly going through things. You know, maybe they they might find something they truly need to hear. So know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And I pray that every dream that you're working hard towards comes to infusion. Uh, so send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.